Okay, this is a demonstration of removing pitch variation from an audio file using Prot. So I've already got Prot open. I've got a sound object here. We'll take a quick listen to it. It's making me wait for a second. Let's hear what it sounds like. One of the biggest decisions that I've ever had to make in my lifetime was choosing to move away to call it. So we want it to sound like that, but we want to remove the pitch variation. So I close that editing window and I come back to the Prot Objects window. I have the sound object selected and I go over here to the Manipulate menu and I say To Manipulation. I'm going to take the defaults here, a time step of 0.01. Actually that may be a, a time step that I put in there previously. And these uh, minimum and maximum frequencies seems to work okay. Now it's analyzing the audio. I believe it's performing in a fast Fourier transform here to switch things from the time domain to the frequency domain and now we by default have that manipulation object selected and we can go into view and edit for that and now we have all these uh, pitch points and we don't want to edit them manually we want to edit them all together. So I'm clicking now and I'm dragging across to select everything and I want to say remove pitch points. And now there are no pitch points uh, that are editable. And now I want to add just a couple of them. Um, I'm going to say add point at zero, at time zero, and I'm going to choose 200 hertz. I've looked at this file before and I happen to know that 200 hertz is somewhere near the middle of this person's speaking range. And I'm going to add one more at the end. I'm actually not sure that this one at the end is necessary, but just to create a line, I'm going to add one at the end. And I'm going to say OK. And now we'll take a listen to this. One of the biggest decisions that I've ever had to make in my lifetime was choosing to move away to college. I had made the decisions to go to college. So you, can, so you can hear that um, we've got what we want, the same content, but and, you know you can hear some artifacts. It's impossible to do this without any artifacts, but uh, basically the pitch content has been removed. Now we're not done yet. We don't have an output file. So this is an important step. You want to select the file menu and say publish resynthesis. And that creates uh, a sound object in the prot objects window. So now I can close this editor and you see this sound from manipulation editor that's the sound object that we just created and so now I can save that as for example a WAV file and I'll say no pitch variation and put that on the desktop and just verify one of the biggest decisions that I've ever had to make in my lifetime that we got what we're after